Good morning, everybody. So, uh, sorry I missed you all yesterday, and uh, also we missed out on Monday, too. It's been, uh, I don't know, this week has been, it's, it's been familiar and yet different in, in many ways. Familiar in that some of the things that uh, I need to get done are able to be done, um, able to uh, go back into the office for a little bit, able to get the boys their doctor's appointments. Um, and yet at the same time, also so wearying as we deal with um, things, just so much. We deal with so much. And one of the things that I have found myself doing this um during this uh, this season of life is uh, setting up my own uh, little ritual in the morning. And um, now that I actually have the time and don't feel so rushed, uh, first thing in the morning to get the boys ready for school and, and then get myself ready for work and then get us out the door. And one of the things that I have found myself is... Um, Finding little prayers uh, written by uh, different different people and uh, using them to uh, to start my day off. And um, one of those is is a uh, a book uh, that I found called "Every Moment Holy," and uh, "Every Moment Holy" has. Um, has has a beautiful prayer in it, and it is that is it's written by um, Douglas McKelvey, and um, I want to share this prayer with you that I have um, that I've been using each morning, and it's 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 a prayer for making coffee, and it has nothing to do with coffee, but I I I it, it I feel when I sit down with my first cup, it. Uh, it helps me get my day started. And the prayer goes, Meet me, O Christ, in the stillness of morning. Move me, O Spirit, to quiet my heart. Mend me, O Father, from yesterday's harms. From the discords of yesterday, resurrect my peace. From the discouragements of yesterday, resurrect my hope. From the weariness of yesterday, resurrect my strength. From the doubts of yesterday, resurrect my faith. From the wounds of yesterday, resurrect my love. Let me enter this new day aware of my need and awake to your grace, O Lord. Amen. I think what I like so much about that prayer is it is a reminder that yesterday was not perfect and today probably will not be perfect either, but that every day we know that we have God who can help us to get through through these days. Um, we know that God is there ready to help us to get through what we need to get through and to help us um, face what will be faced, that God forgives us for our failures from yesterday and uh, stays with us in our journey for today. So let us remember that. Let us remember that God is with us in all things. God's forgiveness and grace uh, covers everything. And God's grace is sufficient for whatever we get called to do. Let us go to God in prayer. Glorious God, let us enter today awake to your grace and aware of our needs. We pray all this in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, go in peace to love and serve the Lord today. Amen. Shalom.